Good morning, people. Yeah, the top guy I decided to cover today was um, memory. Now, the title, of course, is you know, you, if you have low memory, delete files. Um, I run into this all the time, and it's not even funny how many times I run into it over the years. But what you see right in front of you is a pie chart of a hard disk drive. Now, the pink part is empty. The blue part um, has stuff on it. Now, I always run into people who, uh, if they get a low memory error, or even if their computer is running slow, they will start to try to delete files. And sometimes the files they try to delete are going to be important system files. And a lot of times, they don't realize that they can actually get a pie chart and look and see that there, a lot of people's hard drives are just like this. They're, this little blue part is used up. And this big pink part is unused. So deleting files is not what their problem is. The problem is they believe that their hard drive is actually memory when it is not. Now, I'll show you what memory really is. See this? This is a, a, a memory chip for a desktop. And this is also a memory chip for a laptop. And actually... This one is kind of fancy. I didn't realize when I first put it together. It has um, it has a coat over it that's really supposed to be like um to to um to cool it. But um, so some memory runs hot and some like high end computers. This is really like high end memory. But it actually, most memory looks this more like this. But the desktop memory is usually bigger and it usually looks just like this. Now, but these your actual memory sticks or RAM chips. They're called they're called RAM, DRAM. They have different types: DDR2, DDR3. All the name signifies like some of the like the DDR3 is much faster, and you sometimes you get a higher capacity, but it all depends on. But this is actual memory. Your hard drive is not memory. This is the actual memory chip that gets filled up. And when you hear people talk about memory banks, these are the banks they're talking about. These are the memory where your memory banks are at. When you hear that on Sci-Fi. Now this is your, for those you don't know, this is what your hard drive actually looks like. These are one, two, three platters, and these are read write heads you're looking at. That's what, this is a desktop hard drive, and this is generally what a, a, a laptop hard drive looks like. But, um, these are, hold your operating system, your applications, and all of that, but it's not actually memory. But it can be used as virtual memory. And I'm going to go through a short illustration to show you what I mean by that. Um, let me go right here. All right, I'm using this this donut here to represent 256 megabytes of RAM. Now, when you first start your computer up, let's say you're going to load up your device drivers. Let's give that. Now, you see how that fills up the memory? Now, the memory was empty, but it's starting to fill up. Now let's see, we go system services and give it another, what, 50? I mean, that gives it to, brings it up to 100. You see it's filling you up still. Now this is only 256 megabytes of RAM, which means you only have one chip, 256 megabytes of RAM. Now, as your computer starts up, it, you know, you finally you get to your, your, um, your desktop, and by then you probably had about, 200 but eventually you're going to get to a point where you're just going to be at 256 and now it's, everything is full the whole thing is instead of red it's all blue now even on Windows XP from Windows XP to Windows Vista to Windows 7 256 megabytes of RAM is not enough so what happens when this is filled up and now you you, you, you still need more you still you still need to load stuff what happens is something's created called a, a uh, page file, and the page file where the page file goes is right here on your hard drive. Now the page file is the size of it is generally controlled by Windows. Even though you can manually set the size of your page file, it's going to use a slice. Now when I say a slice, I mean a very small slice. Like you see, this blue part is only going to be a fraction of this blue part. I mean, or it'll be a fraction of this this um the pink part but it, it won't be anywhere near as big as this it's going to use a tiny fraction of it um, depending on your operating system generally the um, the paging file is going to be used is going to be like a gigabyte maybe two gigabytes it won't be that big and this is where people get confused because 
the paging file is considered virtual memory, which basically means that when you run out of this actual memory, it starts to load stuff onto the hard drive and use it as, as like fake memory. Virtual memory is basically fake memory, but the computer has to do that to, in, in order to um, to account for the lack of real memory you have. Now, a lot of low-end systems, that's where they, they save their money. They'll give you like a uh, memory that they know is not enough, but it'll still get your computer up and running but when you only have 256 megabytes of RAM even in Windows XP your computer is going to run slow because it's going to be saving everything to your paging file uh, let me just type out so you, you know I can't really show you what a paging file looks like because it's just a um, it's just a file um, that the computer creates on your hard drive But it uses this as a substitute when you don't have enough memory. When your memory is full and you, you, there's nothing else you can really do, that's what it does. It creates the paging file. And the paging file is usually runs pretty slow. It makes your computer run slow because that's the, you can actually run your entire computer from the hard drive. You, you can use your hard drive from memory if you really wanted to, but your computer will be running god awful slow. And that's the reason why you need real RAM. Um, it's because it caused because of speed um, so the point of all of this is just to let you know that that is what is going on and being that the paging file is just one file and uh, the computer actually controls it the size of the paging file how big it is and, and it is usually not just one set size it'll it'll like shrink it make it bigger make it bigger and shrink it depending on how it needs and it's a slow process and it generally, if you don't have enough, if you only have 256 megabytes of RAM, like I said, whether you have XP or, or above, it's not going to be enough. Your computer is going to be going slow just because you don't have enough RAM. And not having enough RAM means you have one of these chips, one of these two chips, maybe one or maybe even more. You can have like uh, two, two, two chips of 128 to make up 256. The thing is, in order to get your computer up running a little bit faster, you're going to need more RAM. This is actual RAM. So, you can have a hard drive like this that has a paging file, but it's going to be slow. The page, using the paging file is going to be slow. And no matter how many files you delete, that's not going to accept, um, affect the paging file. You're still going to have this big pink portion um, free. And deleting other files is not going to help your speed. The only thing that's going to help your speed um, is getting a sufficient memory of RAM. So that's just to me let a lot of people know. A lot of people will like to fool around deleting files and deleting stuff that they really need. And it's not helping anything. It's not helping. If you don't have enough RAM, then you just don't have enough RAM. And you're going to have to buy more RAM. Deleting files. I mean, every now and then you run into someone who has a computer that has a full hard drive. But generally, when they have low memory problems, um, the problem is acting is a quite literally they don't have enough of this. And I uh, hope I've gotten you know I've done a good job of trying to explain it to you because you know like I said this is just like filled up RAM. Once it's filled up, your computer has to go to the paging file or your you know and that's just one file on your hard drive, and you can't delete this file. I mean you can actually. If you want to go through, you guys actually see see the actual name of the file and try to delete it, and you can't delete it on your own. You could like um, go to advanced settings and set the actual um, size of it um, to to a, a set size so you can manage it yourself. But deleting files on your hard drive won't help. So just wanted you know to let you know that because I've I've run into people who actually deleted stuff, and they've gone through great pains to delete stuff is really important to them, thinking it's going to help their memory, help their computer go faster when it doesn't. So, uh, that's what I got to say on the topic, you know. I hope you guys understand, and thanks for listening.